So the map draft. Yeah. Let's get us going. Here, CG player, 1407, Spudgy, 1239. A bit of an Edo gap, but... Um... See, I, I, I don't think it's as vast as it, uh, as it sounds with the numbers okay. there, because I play with Spudgy quite a lot, mm -hmm. and their play style is incredibly chaotic and <laughs> can be really punishing and really take higher ELO players by surprise. So honestly, I think this is going to be a pretty even matchup. Chaos pit. So someone who relishes in the madness has had their opponent mm. choose Chaos Pit. That's, that's, that's going to feel fairly good for them. Great. <laughs> Should suit them, hopefully. Mm. Yeah, or King Boo says CD is a smurf, so, you know, maybe there's a bit of both. And Cape of Storms, okay. Ah, see, that's one of my Insta bands because there's water on it. So. <laughs> has water banned. Ban, yeah. get out. Yeah, it's, it's Team I'm Islands saying. then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it will okay, be the last so... one. Hide out, Gone Swamp, Dry River. Uh, you've got Land Manor still on the table. You've got... Mm. Uh, what else have you got? got Island still on the table here. Island still on the table. I wouldn't be surprised if that was banned out. Um, but it's good beach to see that... Beach Fight ban. Oh, I love Beach oh, Fight. That's, that that, that, that was my home map. Is Land Manor's gone? Mm, so what should be their first map of the day then? Is the question we've got Gold Rush and Ireland? So, yeah, the last one is Gold Rush. Nice. Okay. Gold Rush. Very nice. So, kicking things off with Gold Rush here sounds good. Yeah. It's always an interesting one, that one. Um, it's kind of, I don't know. Gold Rush is one of those where you, you want a lot of control. You want a sieve that, mm. can, that can take areas, use the gold effectively. Mm. And it's quite a hilly map as well. So. Yeah, so. The Gold Rush, um, from talking to higher ELO players, I believe you want a really strong Castle Age Civ, so something right, like a, yep. like you like Berbers do pretty well there. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Tatars are pretty decent because you yep. can obviously get the hill bonus and CA is pretty punishing on that. Uh, what else? I think I feel like Britain's on Gold Rush are decent. Good pass um, by. Yep. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for chat to correct me on all of these. <laughs> uh, hey, no. so... Uh, wrong there. Um, uh, Britain's is going to be banned out with you playing, not wanting to deal oh, with that. Okay. I, I either expect it to come well. out as a ban or a snipe. Like it's it's been mm. banned or snipe so so much, mm. so it's unsurprising. Britain's played well is so scary to play against. It's such a relentless push, and it feels like anything you do because of the range advantage, you just can't yeah. take a decent fight out. But it's getting banned out. Okay. Hmm, that is interesting. Mm. Thing. So it should be CD player who gets the first pick, right? So interesting, they take out Berbers, and it, they've taken out an archer sieve and a cab sieve. Mm. So obviously not too much preference for some of the Aztecs. What else will they get off the board? They have only got one watery map, Hindustanis. Okay, fair enough. Interesting. Yeah, Hindustanis, camel and gunpowder. Mm. So Pole's Pole's. first pick. Yeah, I mean, you know how we were talking about um, like strong castle age civs? Mm -hmm. I'd probably put poles down there with one of them with the eco and stuff. <laughs> well, and the and response is the... fun. <laughs> Mongols, Mongols and Liths. Yeah, Mongols and well. Liths, I love it. I, I do know that Spudgy likes playing Mongols and got some pretty sharp builds with mm -hmm. Mongols there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I respect that. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the end game snipe, actually. Hmm. But Italians and Hunt coming out. Hunt is one that we haven't seen very much of in the tournament so far. I think um, the mole picked Hunt against me. Oh, really? I can't yeah. remember. I think in Dry River or something. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. Got absolutely claps on it. So, oh, Tater's good. Good. So... Tater's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that could be potentially their, their Gold Rush Civ, perhaps. Although, again. It is nice. At least the Mongols also what do I think? I, ooh, biz for Chaos Pit, what do you think? So guys, I found mm. out the other day that there's no gold in the middle of Chaos Pit. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> so this is where I'm thinking biz for Chaos Pit. Would it's, be like, nice with the it's like picking crash. Mongols on Beach Fight and realising there's no stone. <laughs> like yeah. Yeah, it's pretty pretty awkward. But there but is yeah. lots of hunt, so... Mm -hmm. Also an option for Cape of Storms. You've got mm -hmm. the, fast, the fire ship bonus as well there. Mm. Vietnamese and Franks. Frank's just strong in general. You can play that on yeah. most of these. Um, Vietnamese is an interesting one. I suppose... Uh, if... Vietnamese on Gold Rush, maybe? Mm, 
Yeah, mm. Spudgy, that may have happened. <laughs> yeah, last pick for Spudgy. What would round this off? I haven't really got a... I mean, uh, yeah, I guess Biz could be the water sieve. Bulgarians. Bulgarians. Chaos Pit? I don't know where Chaos I'd Pit put... Bulgarians? For the, the men at arms? There's no gold. Oh, yeah, there's no gold. Trust me, this is this is this is, mm, this is, one of, this is you'll see you'll see what happens later. On. Yeah, that is all good. And Italians and Mongols are taken out. So who will be the the gold rush? Uh, yeah, I, I see though? Italians. That that could be a pain actually. Yeah. Um, gold rush sieve. Uh, yeah. I'm going. I honestly probably say poles for that, and. I Pulse, think thanks. it's going to be Tata's for Spudgy, but I might be completely off here. No, I think Tata's makes sense. Um, just looking at the other maps, I mean, do Tata's really make sense? I think mean, Chaos Pit, I suppose, has the hill around the outside that could be used. Mm -hmm. And Keeper Storms, hey, you get, you might be able to get the, the height bonus on water. Oh, the, yeah. The, I didn't yeah. originally thought of that. I've not even entertained that yeah. map. Like, that, that's just one of my... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think uh, galley was are so strong on them. Um, yeah. if, if you can get the hill with a couple of galleys mm -hmm. to snipe all the fish, it's pretty, pretty damn good. <laughs> yep, and We've got lots of followers like coming in as well. Thanks, nil. guys. Appreciate that. Yeah, hey, sapient fits. Welcome. Welcome to Land Manus and Land Lovers. Uh, so yeah, let us... I think I've already got the first game ready behind me. So I'm just going to... Excellent. Let's go hop in then. Pretty much right away let's see how this does oh Ooh, half right half right okay so the tatars came in that was what we were expecting but franks i mean sure franks are a pretty good going to castle age i think franks there. struggle against a ca though so honestly mm. i prefer spudgy's pick for this yeah could get interesting when I mean, you always think yeah. like the the cav sieves generally struggle against cav archer sieves franks do mm. get uh uh i think they do get heavy ca yeah they do get I've heavy never, ca they, I, they just do don't they? get thumb ring, so ah uh, okay whereas tatas get insta free thumb ring and insta three free parthian which is yeah. pretty I don't even think strong they get the top archer things from the blacksmith either but so yeah perhaps mirror not too great there. There. Yeah. I'm not, I think that's probably the case because I think the skirms are quite sucky as well. Mm hmm. So that could definitely be a problem further on into mm -hmm. the game. But for the moment, let's have a quick checkup of the maps here. So in the blue, mm. seed players, Franks. He's got the back berries. He's got some side gold, some side stone. Not too bad. Yeah, a bit open, quite but... Front, but I think there's a couple, there's quite a few safe options for resources there. So mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be too upset with the map. No. Nope. No, I don't think so either. He's got some great wall of options to one side. Mm. In fact, both sides are pretty great. It's just the front he's got to worry about. Yeah, but I think... Yeah, I, th I, th I think if I was Franks, I'd want to kind of dictate the pace of the game here. I think letting mm -hmm. Tatars get to that critical CA mass. If they're going CA, that's another thing. I mean, knights are always an option. Sure. But... If Tatas get to that critical CA mass, it is a little bit it's game difficult. Over. Yeah, yeah. As far, yeah, and fight, fighting uphill as well is really difficult mm -hmm. uh, because of the the, the hill bonus of Tatas as well. Yeah, if you, if you can get Tatas rolling, I think it's a really nice serve. I really do. Yeah, I mean, one thing we can say is that Spudgy does have a more awkward map. Mm, stones in a bit of look how shy that elephant is as well at the Aww. Top. that's kind look of adorable him. just feasting on the, on the fruit just having a little nibble a little nibble that's so cute <laughs> that must be really annoying I have, I have, I should, have they found it they have found it okay cool so both players pushing in deer as well I think mm -hmm. that that's pretty much the play on this kind of map yeah Feasting on the elephant. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Where are even the... Okay, so they do have some jaguars looking on. Oh, and my mm. goodness. Look what? at them birds. Ooh, Why does this always bird. happen to us? That happened in, in your game previously that we were... That I think Tom and Paradox were casting. The birds just go mental. What is they going just... on? 
they can probably see like um, little predators in that grass right underneath them. So you know how they're like circling <laughs> over the top, and like they're about hawk. to die, yeah, like maybe. a hawk. Yeah, I think I think that's what's going on. Oh, I do. But the the landscape is arid, so there's only like one predator on the whole of the map. So that's why they're kind of that's true focusing on the, that little bit. Yeah, they don't want really, to don't want to be near this because it's it's guarded by them. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So you know the birds know more than we do. Indeed. Let's have a look. Any change between these two players? There's three on wood here for the Franks player. Unsurprising. Probably going scouts mm -hmm. and feudal. So that's I think you look. do have to do a little bit of feudal play on this map just to get map control. Yeah. I think going FC is really, really bold here. Um, nice, nice, nice. Second early drush. coming in. Look how there's endless sheep left for uh, Tartars as well because they just yeah. lost it. That's true on the age up. I'm not it. sure about rushing on this map just because of how many Jaguars there are. Like, if you water on the outside, then that's cool, but it's mm. really, I, I feel like running into Jags with um, with two militia, I feel like you're going to lose quite a few HP off this. Yeah, so they got three in there, and they did find where the opponent was, but yeah, besides slow down the the No. Oh, they are getting aggroed. Yeah. Yeah, only one though, from the look of it. Only one. So that might not be too, too bad. But the aggression's mm. come out on the scout, so maybe they know something's coming. Mm. Gonna do a bit of the step back and forth. Nothing comes of it. Let's see what kind of damage these three can do. Mm, there's really not much over here, and the quick walls are gonna come out. Yeah. So Barry should be nice and safe. Yep. Leopard still be a little bit annoying. Just having a little nibble. He hungry. He hungry. Yeah. I still want to see someone pull out the uh, the hoarding of the the jaguars, and bringing that. To yeah, them. we so haven't yet brushed. seen that. So yeah, far. it can it can happen. It can happen. Yeah, although they could get a villager pick here potentially. Yeah, but oh, I think we're gonna lose that. We yep. need to aggro the, the jag on something else. No. Hey, um, and they have aggroed it on the villager. Yeah, we go. <laughs> but I think it's going to be fine. A, lo a lovely bit of chaos there. A lovely bit of chaos. I think this is really nice as well as it forces CD to kind of pay attention at home. Mm -hmm. um, just to deal with the militia there. But CD is now up to feudal age. Yeah, and Spudgy's not even clicked. So is this going to be yeah. a fast? I think this is Drush FC. Drush FC, I think, from the timings here. Yeah. With 20 pop scouts there for CD, I think, if there's going to be a stay, we'll get in drops at the front. But this is a nice wall in from Swiggy. Oh, we've got War Open Archers. Okay, cool. Frank Archers. Interesting. I mean, they do get crossbow, but... It. They do deal with... Um, it is going to deal with these Tim Lesher at home. True. But... Very true. Yeah. Just a bit of an. Um, we've just got another rogue sheep there, just wandering across oh, yeah. the top. So we... I do that all the time. I lose sheep behind woodlines when I'm scouting with them, and then um. I'm wherever I've got no food, and then yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a strange option, really. But have they scouted mm -hmm. the opponent's base? They don't see to play, and there's nothing. Oh no, CD's absolutely no idea what's going on here. So this drush has been really good for. Keeping CD's attention at home might be a bit of like first game nerves, mm -hmm. but yeah, I think I do favour Swoogie's position at this moment in time. Fully walled. Yeah, fully walled and almost clicking up to castle. Yep. Well, he needs to kick up to feudal first. Mm. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> still, still a feudal like that. Until I die, well. <laughs> yeah, they're spending their sweet time. There we go. Mm. Feudal finally clicks, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. They know what's going on in the opponent's base. Mm. If if anything had to happen, you'd not, expect this. Not time. seeing the range yet, though. But yeah. I think that's open around the berries now. Oh, okay. Yeah, with the top at the top, they tried to at get the in top, there. Yeah. Didn't make too much of it, sadly. But yeah, they're going to clear this up very soon, you'd imagine. Mm -hmm. Heavy placement now onto gold for the Frank player. Yeah, I, trying to catch up. I'm really not sure what build CD's doing here. I'm really confused. Oh. Oh. That is so peculiar. 
<laughs> or maybe it's for the arch production. You want to the arch too much is saying, ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> As I say, like, I think that's a little bit too much on Go Home Range, but I don't want to criticise too much. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's four or five yeah. villages for one range. From what I yeah, I, and then I, I guess I you've got the three four, villages. Four the three villages that you normally put on for gold as you're trying to get up to castle, I suppose. But yeah, these these militia have done work, and in fact, will I get Vilpik? He's waddling. Is that going to be enough? Oh, not enough. <laughs> so close, but yet so far, he came all that way. What a shame. Yeah, pure archers from the Frank player. Interesting. See a blacksmith going down. I don't know if you've managed to mute, but uh, <laughs> I'll just keep on going. Oh, and I'm the market. There we go. So market blacksmith for, for Spudgy. Unsurprising. And it looks like CD player is going to try much the same, just with one less villager. Try to get up to Castle. I think he knows that that was probably the play at this point, having just only seen the, the Drush. Cool, I think I'm back. Can you hear yeah, me? I can. Good. Okay, sorry. I just had to disconnect and reconnect. We all went a little bit uh, internet laggy. But I think I'm here. Yep, I can hear you just fine. Good, perfect. Basically. Yeah, nothing too much happened. The archers have finally gone forward. Yes. Yeah. That's can we just take a quick look at what CD has scouted as well? I just want to see how sure. aware he is of the... Oh, dear. Nothing. nothing. He's now... given the middle finger to all of us. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I hate it when this happens, when I get kept at home and then suddenly you've got no idea what your opponent's doing. Yeah, got all this military sitting around mm. twiddling their thumbs. Mm. Meanwhile, Spudge, behind their walls, having the time behind of their, their lives. Walls. And I think it's going to be CA mm. opening here. So we've got Ray. Oh, do, do we don't have a stable yet, I don't think, for no, no uh, bloodlines. No, I uh, that's probably okay at the moment. Yeah, just double double archery range. Mm. I'm gonna pump those out and these archers. I mean, you're not gonna. They are gonna see the walls. That's true. I mean, I guess. See the market. Yeah, probably expected. But at this point, I mean, these are, these are throwaway archers, right? Yeah. I mean, expo. You do get expos, Franks, but that's about as far as it goes. I do think it's worth investing in Expo for that amount of archers. I think if you've got uh, a Expo, you can still do a decent amount of damage, um, especially because you've got to wait for production on CA, right? So you've got mm -hmm. to wait for um, for them to come out. But there is some pretty solid walls as well, so yeah, yeah, it's quite going to be quite a campy game. Yes, yeah, I could very much see Spudgy just. Rally point somewhere at the back, just getting mm. a huge mass and then just mushing it all yeah. forward in one big go. That is the well, CD does here. know exactly what they're going for now. But yeah. it's got it's two ranges with flags on them. I didn't. So I didn't a second range here. Interesting. I, honestly, I'm not sure about this from uh, from CD. I, I I don't know how I'd play this. But I, I don't know how, I, I don't know what the thoughts between the second range. Yeah, range second range is well. Franks. <laughs> it's yeah. not something you, you hear every day, that's for mm -hmm. sure. What have we got in here? Oh, there's one left on the outside. I go. guess that'll be a new scout. <laughs> Why not? Uh, look, that, that's problems. the rogue CA. The rogue they, CA. they just want to go live the dream elsewhere. They, they, they ain't, they're not following those um, them rules. No, well, doesn't want to go to war. Make yeah. love, not peace. Yeah. Make, wait, no, that's that's the wrong phrase. Anyway, you could do both. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So here, and we're mixing in some skirms as well, which I think is the right decision. It's just the mobility starts getting really scary with CA as mm -hmm. well. I'm going to see an almighty wall come out. Ooh, I think this is early ballistics coming in. So yeah. got a, a university coming up for that sweet sweet knowledge. Indeed. And that makes sense if you're going against C8. Mm. 
doesn't want to be able to hit him. He's got <laughs> very close at this point as well. Yeah. yeah. I might, might be able to break in here. Whether you want to go in is another matter. Because you don't know what you're running into. No, all you see is the front. Ooh. So, it'll, yes, we do have Elite Skirm and Ballistics coming in here for CD, which I do think is the right play. Um, it's Franks. Yeah, now this looks a bit bit scary. A few too many CA here. Mm -hmm. Especially as the TC's right there. I guess I just wanted to prevent the army going south. Mm. But other than that, it's about Ooh, perfectly Ooh, Fold Workshop as well. Nice. Interesting how neither player has particularly made a, a jump in the middle yet. Seems pretty happy with the gold options at home. Mm -hmm. Rip that zebra. Yeah. I wonder if that <laughs> looked at them funny, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Kind of strange. I wouldn't mind, actually, a, a siege workshop. Oh, way ahead of me. Way ahead wow, of me. Wow, yes. <laughs> and Scorps coming out, which I like. Uh, yeah. Scorps make it a little harder to, to counteract. It's much more difficult mm. to dodge Scorps. A bit cheaper, a bit easier to get out. Um, but yeah, I think I just... want to see a Manganel from um, from CD. Wow, look at the wildlife! <laughs> Nature! Nature! No! It's all over me. Just just seeing the, 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 the BT uh, Tata 3 free thumb ring there as well. Mm -hmm. Sure, oh yeah, they're cool. It's like all those, those things are free. Mm. CD player, oh, good reaction here. Not going to give anything away too easily. I would also like to see... Every time I mention something... Every time. I it just happens, it. doesn't it? It's almost as if these players are actually quite good. Yes. Uh, it could be the case. Oh, and it was a Megan as well. Oh. Nope. nope. That's one for nothing. That was a good attack Ooh, ground. Oh, that was a good attack ground. But yeah. Oh, I like running into the Manganel to... Mm -hmm. um, to micro that down, but CA mass is looking a little bit sparse at the moment, yep. so we're probably going to want to get as much damage with these as possible because it looks like you're going to lose most of them at this point. Yep, yep. And yeah, again, in my mind, I was thinking you need to get more mass out here. <laughs> if you're mm. going to get Tatars rolling, you need more than two production buildings, that's for sure. Mm. But yeah, still heavy. Just the one Vil. The one Vil making that TC. She's so brave. I respect that. No, that oh, her friends didn't quite make it. Okay, that's actually really sad. <laughs> right. But it's a, a one, man, <laughs> one woman on a mission. Got yeah. Respect. She can, these, okay. These are just going to be a pain. And we mentioned it yeah, right at the start. Yeah, like, imagine mobility. It's, it's just so annoying. You just feel like you're constantly chasing CA around the map. I hate it. It's mm. this. I find it so difficult. I can't play as them, can't play against them. <laughs> I oh, can't play with them, can't play against them. Oh, that's an empty wood line there as well. Yeah, goodness. It's gone. And yep, see how can we produce some up back. I'm not using the extra ranges just yet. A battering, ra battering ram's a good choice, actually. Mm. The problem is, you concentrate Ooh, for two nice. seconds in one area. And then <laughs> suddenly, in. these are all done. CD's not noticed yet. And now it's noticed. Three dead. Nice. Yeah. Eight kills. Getting real value from these CA here. I do like. I do like. Because they're so weak. They can't take fights, but they're so good for sniper. Ooh. Secondary group discovered in the center. Yeah. Yikes. That's painful. And where are these fills going to go? They have no idea, no idea where to go. I suppose going towards no. the super workshop is about the best they can do. Neither player's got anything for a castle yet. No. So kind of, what, what do you At the mean? moment, this is being played. Ignoring the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, neither player is on stone at all, so I. I... They went after me. There you go, 10 CA on the front. Let's see if they can find any Vil picks. I mean, <laughs> CD player is still sending Vils out into the middle. Wondering whether they think there's. Some kind of gap out there, but Spudgy's got it covered. And Mel's muted, I think. Again? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna check my <laughs> my Discord. I don't know, she's not marked, is it? Anyway. 
an actual scary CMS coming out now. And even a villager leads 65 to 53. You see the EKD pretty much accounts for that. But yeah, this is now a scary mess. Am I going to get it? Oh, before a shot even comes off. That's painful. Yeah, and that entire army is going to go. Still have a battering ram. This budgie still has absolutely nothing. But yeah, this is a question of how you deal with this army. Behind it. I'd like to see more seed. They are getting some stone mining, finally, going on stone. So I think the next question will be who will be going off to take the center, perhaps? You can have Tatars raiding at some point. But yeah, I think it's a bad decision to try and chase these. You kind of just have to wall them out, which looks like they have done a little bit over here. And um, hello. Hey. Back. hey. <laughs> Are you okay? You went very quiet for a moment there. I, I've I've been going all the way through. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that came out on stream, but I couldn't hear you. <laughs> no, I couldn't, I couldn't hear, hear you at all, which was kind of That's weird. so weird. I, I can see that That's we were still so in the Discord weird. channel together, but yeah, yeah very, you very were, your, your green um, your green lines weren't coming up on Discord, so I was like, oh, Ooh, maybe Discord must have been doing that. Yeah. yeah, I think Discord went down or something along those lines for a minute there. <laughs> so yeah. if it doesn't keep doing it's cool. They're all good. They're all good. So very aggressive castle there from mm -hmm. CD. Very forward. Like uh, we're going to get another one up from Spudgy here coming forward. Uh, do, 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 do. Nice. I like that castle. It's got control over two of the golds there and putting mm -hmm. a lot of pressure on right now as well. So, CD with Franks, only 13 on food though at the moment, so yep. going to be a little bit of a struggle to click up to Imp, whereas Spudgy, sure. pretty close, pretty close. Yeah, that could be dangerous. So I think when Spudgy gets the castle, they'll be able to click up. Um, and they got a mangonel out as well, that wasn't there a minute ago, mm. just in case the ram decided to go forwards. This ram could have been useful mm. like five, ten minutes ago perhaps, but now it's... There's been that lonely. siege sat in the base for a while now, with the Manganel being just act, acting as a nice defensive position. Yep. We've got some CA being annoying there at the front with CD. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, Full but scale, running into the elite game. Yep. Yeah. So where does Spudgy go from here? That's the question. Well, if, Spudgy's I mean, up to Wimp. Spudgy's up to Wimp, which will be mm. painful. So, I mean, heavy CA with all the upgrades as Tatars can definitely be dangerous to, to even mm. elites go to some degree. But I mean... Yeah. I guess, there, is there really a reason for uh, CD player to switch off what they're currently doing? Because I mean, if they decide to I don't to think it scales... I, I think there does have to be some form of cav transition because, like, going for range units with Franks in late game, I don't think it scales that well. Um, I... Again, I wouldn't really know what the ideal comp would be, but I, I do mm. think it's a rough sieve matchup. Oh, one for one there as well, nice. Yeah. I do think it's a rough sieve matchup for uh, Franks here. Yeah, because if, even if they do go knights, the, the Tatars do get mm. heavy camel with all the upgrades, I think. Mm. So that is uh, potentially going to be True. a problem as time goes on. And another mm. castle in the centre. To secure the middle, nice. Yeah. This one was a bit out there, but this one's much, much better. I would like to see more production buildings from Switchy at this point. Um, mm -hmm. There's, like, they're floating quite a bit of wood, and yeah. we're transitioning to Imp now, and we're probably going to have to start that spam soon as well. Yeah, indeed. Just so you get a hand cart, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, Spirit of the Lord did say around 75 bills is a reasonable point. Really? I, I always that. get it on the way up to Imp, just, just out of habit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess the same wheelbarrow, it's just kind of force of habit. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, right, fighting uphill against up. Tatars. Yeah, but he will go up just as Spudgy hits Imp. Are we going to see traps out straight away? That is the question. Keshix. Ooh, Keshix. Keshix. I thought Hog. of Keshix. Of course, the unique unit. 
of the Tatars. But there's so much gold in the middle, I don't understand. <laughs> there is, but they're, they're a decent unit. Like, they get they reasonable really... pierce armor, right? So I can check them. If I can... Ooh, throwing all the skirms under the cast. I don't, I don't like that from CD at all. No. This is, this is rough for CD and the Keshex here. Doing work. Mm -hmm. Look at them. Another unit which looks absolutely fabulous in purple as well. Mm. They do look really nice, don't they? Yeah. Do, do love a cash it. Yeah. Do love a good cash it. Yeah. And we've got a treb out as well for but you hear so much word. Please put mm -hmm. things down. <laughs> or, or, or fans, either or. Something. Yeah. Something. something. Yeah. And still a decent massive CA there as well. Now, mm -hmm. we've just, we've got. Uh, um, Oh, we are making the transition to knights, I think, from uh, CD here. Looks so like CD, a minute and a half off imp, but still just the 18 farms there. So quite, I think the food eco is just going to struggle just a little bit to catch up. Yeah, and the the, the farm placements in the centre, just mm. a little bit ambitious, I think, <laughs> potentially. Yeah. If CD, I mean, it's going to be a problem. And as the, soon as oh, did, castle did, too. the Tatars... Do Tatars have their unique tech in, which makes the traps like long distance missile oh, snipers? Plus two range, I think. Plus two range, yeah. I think that is their, uh, yeah, that is their imp upgrade. So mm. I'm not sure they're quite. I would to love to yet. see it. It would, would be nice. Let's so have a look. This has 16 range. Wow. Not sure. We'll have to see one. I don't I don't I don't know the range of traps. Oh, I, I don't have it yet. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, transition to Cav fully coming in. Mm. But I mean if we see some more upgrades for Spudgy, mm. yeah, Bay Camel could be an option. I mean it's such mm. an easy switch really. They've already got some yeah. of it, they've already got light cav coming in as well for the raids. Mm. It's not looking good. Oh, and the wood price has been absolutely tanked at the market already. Like, we're right on to base prices here. Mm -hmm. They've got to keep this. I do like that castle in the middle. I really like being able to push off with the trebs there. That's that's really nice to play. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, if these if these go in, it's, maybe they might be able to get the trebs. It's entirely possible the trebs go down, but... They, oh, there's just too many, no, too many I don't think No, I don't think you can with that. No. Tatas are such a pain. Such a pain, especially because you're fighting uphill against them at this point as mm -hmm. well. So you're just taking even more damage. Yep. And it's, it's, so, it's so frustrating. So the question is, where does the gold now? The answer yeah. is, there is none. He's already used the extra gold on this second TC when they first started. <laughs> so all that's left is the middle now. There's nothing around to the north. Mm. Scary place to be. If you're a CD player, and oh, just Indeed. look at the military count. Yeah, I think, I think, I think Spudgy is in a very good spot here, and I wouldn't be feeling too great about my position now if I was CD. No. It's 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 it always feels so bad when you get pushed off the middle in um in um gold rush mm -hmm. because you just know that your opponent can just spam gold units for days. Yeah. And gold units that you can't really find an answer for, I suppose. Yeah. Skirm would be the only option here, but you know that your skirm mm. aren't that great. I don't yeah, I don't I don't even think skirms are an option here at this no. point. Um they don't get braces, so Yeah, trying to uh, go cavalier. Trying to go mm. cavalier when you've got no access to gold is is Yeah. Desperation. It, desperation. I've got a little engagement going on there. What's what's flashing in the bottom of the map? That there. Oh, oh, we've just got some. We've got some light cap attacking buildings. Cool. Yep, living their best Arkeshik. life. They are living their best life indeed. Also, I, I respect the Keshik play, but there is so much gold. Like, there's already so much. We don't need more gold. Well, I mean, Keshiks. Yes, they do get a little bit of gold from. Yeah. Hit things, but not that much. The reason we use it overall, they get good pierce armor. I, I think, think you'd be surprised when you send some cash into the eco and then How you, you kill a lot of bills, and then suddenly you've got like 2k gold in the bank. Maybe not 2k gold, but oh, GG is called by CD mm -hmm. there. Good game, good game. I honestly think that just classic 
um, instance of snowballing there. Like, I think the drush from Swudgy made um, cause CD to stay at home. CD had no scouting, and it was a rushed matchup as well. Yep. So interesting. Four total heavy CA. Nice. That is painful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. But yeah, Indeed. GG's to both, and we have Spudgy going 1-0 up in this play all three. Indeed, the, the player with the lower rank has gone up 1-0. Yeah. So I'm with CD Spudgy. on this one, Cavatch, so rotating too. I honestly, I hate playing against um, CA. I feel like it's a constant game of cat and mouse. Mm. It's just too, too... It's so difficult because Skirms always feel like you're chasing. Yeah. But knights always feel like they just get kited down. It, it, it's, it's rough. It is rough when they're played well. Yeah, and this graph, I think, shows pretty convincingly that one turning point just after hitting Imp and just... <laughs> I think that was... Yeah, I think... Was that under the castle? That was losing the scales mm -hmm. under the castle, I think. Yeah. And they never managed to come back from there. Mm. Understandable. But, all right, let's just move back. Uh, in fact, I will have to get one other thing uh, prepared in the background whilst we do this. So I've got to load up the next map here. Uh, cool. Which I forgot to do. So. You, I like your desk set up. It's like... Um, have you ever watched uh, Parks and Rec? I have, yes. Where... Uh, uh, Oh, for God's sake! What's the guy when they put when they then when they redo the office and he has to sit in a circular desk and just keeps oh. turning round and round, <laughs> yeah, just, uh... like that? That's what you're about. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. I'll just keep going round. Yeah. So, but thank you so much for the sub. Has Ooh. it been two months already? That's crazy. Oh yeah, I suppose it has, hasn't it? Because yeah, we, nice. we started streaming in May, right? Mm. Yeah. Goodness. It has Look come a long way all, with a. Oh, look at us. The lovely. Look at us now. <laughs> Channeling out in a pool red. But yeah, so that was game one. Uh, we're going to see Spudgy versus CD Player on Cape, uh, not Cape of Storms, Chaos Pits. Because we're going to CD Player's oh, Chaos Pit. choice of map. Okay, so, 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 so predictions. Have you seen them? Uh, I may have. You may have. Okay, look, can I predict? Can I predict for... Go for it. Uh, so I think it's going to be Poles versus Byzantines. Congratulations! You've won nothing, but you, you get to... Uh, I've won nothing, but a I've shot got of pride. pride. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Love a bit of pride. Love Poles. a bit of pride. It's like a, oh. a sort of some uh, exposure, but that sounds weird. <laughs> mm. It's oh, like, I hey, get what hey, you mean. You need to know where I'm going with that, but it was yep. going down the ramp path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ginger, that is Why is Dave. Dave, Dave behind Mel? That's not Dave. Excuse me. This is Slam. Yeah. Slam. Look at him go. Slam, boy. You can see my, uh, you can see my uh, thingy ring as well. No. Angle him correctly. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got mine. Why does it keep moving? Oh, I don't know. it's because I'm looking. There we go. Yeah, this is this is this is coming to the LAN, and I'll show you guys the website where you can make like custom, um, you can make custom pixel art things, which I can put on it. Nice. If you so wish, Indeed. I'm just thinking LAN Madness branding. <laughs> yeah, it would be pretty cool. I don't know where exactly we'd put it, and it would have to be 64 pixels, right? So you can you can do it. You can do it. You can definitely do it. I'll send you the app in a little bit, but it's uh, it's quite relaxing there uh, doing pixel app. Yeah, maybe our our subs can show us the LM emote. Maybe that can fit onto it. I think it will. That'll probably work. Anyway, let's go on. We know what the the civs are. They are going to be poles versus Byzantines on Chaos Pit. So let's get that going, shall we? Here we go. Spudgy in the pink and he player oh. in the blue. So, can I just tell you the first thing which springs to mind with go. this? The Polish villagers heal themselves, right? They do, yeah. And there's a lot of disgusting bullfighting on this map. Uh -huh. I... Poles on this. Oh, boy. 
Hmm. I think this is going to be so annoying. Oh, and well, yeah, they do get... Ah, so here's a thought as well on the back of that. Again, the poles being such an interesting pick. They mm. generate gold from taking stone. So <gasps> men at arms could potentially a, be an option oh for Oh my god, poles. what a... Yes! Yeah. Oh my god, that's like... Oh my god. That's a five-head what an unreal there, but... sieve. What an unreal sieve, actually, for this yeah. map. That's... Wow. Okay, okay. It could be a thing. Okay, that's... We'll see. We'll that's see. actually really cool. Yeah. Wow. I like that we have shipwrecks on the grass as well for... For Ferrara, just no question. Themes. Okay, they're there. We, yeah, no, we, we, don't don't we don't know why. We don't know why. The dudes died. There. The shipwrecks are yeah. here. Yeah, maybe it was like a Noah's Ark kind of situation, like a reverse Noah's Ark situation where it was flooded and then it's not flooded, and then suddenly there's ships on the grass rather than <laughs> water on <Sure>. the grass. Sure, <laughs> sure, we'll take that. I'm tired. I've worked nine days in a row. I'm tired. Just let me let me let me vibe with it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm down with that. I mean, it's also sort of the opposite because it's down in the bottom of the pit rather than up on a mountain. That True that. True that. Yeah. But no, we interesting to see what. I th- no, no. I, what I think was happening was I think there was um, a um, a relic heist um, oh. going from another faraway land, and huh. the ships got eaten by a. Kraken or something. Okay, okay. And then the water all drained somewhere. Uh huh. And then, and then this is what happened basically. I think that's that's the backstory. That makes sense with the relics. I'll give you that. Exactly. Maybe this is where like a a sinkhole was and it filled up. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just thinking plug, plug hole. Plug. Yeah. Um. So Aztecs got banned out straight away by Spudgy. They did. That was the fir- first band, so I feel like there's been some background research being done mm-hmm. from these guys here. Yeah, okay, so Scout Health. Uh, CD got a big lead here with the gas. So I think even taking a fight uphill is dicey at this point. Mm-hmm. I'll take a fight downhill for Spudgy. For both of them. For yeah, going out to the, edge, the right wood line. Yeah, it's always if that, there's yeah. some utility to that, isn't it's there? Almost as if that's yeah, it's almost as if that's the correct way to play this map. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? Yeah, we'll see. I I don't know what the actual rate is conversion from stone mine to gold gained. It is significant. It's like it's not bad, if you get it? some, yeah, you can do some really janky. Um, oh. oh no. Oh. Oh, oh! Okay, they're all right. They're all right. Oh boy, that was close. That was close. You can do some really janky arena builds with poles, where mm-hmm. you uh, just where you don't go on gold at all and just go on stone, and then you have enough for a castle, and then you can do uh, uh, work too. the select uh, privileges or something. Yep. Um, but I I don't know that build, but I've seen it been done, and it's pretty cool. It works. Hmm. One gold for every two stone. See, I think that's a decent rate. That, that is yeah. very decent. Yeah. So, I mean, you'd have to have a villager out here taking a little bit more stone than you would otherwise, but hmm. I don't think that's too but bad. But then that idea. opens up the possibilities for towers as well, right? And if you start towering mm. woodlines, it gets a little bit, yep. bit scary. Yeah, for late game, no access to gold is going to be a bit of a pain, assuming they go mm. for that. Mm. We're sending five out to wood. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So Loom only just coming in now for Spudgy. Now that was literally one of the first things I got with uh, <laughs> on Chaos Pit, like just because. Don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, I just get scared. Yep. Nice. Oh, and this is. I do like that uh, mill position. It, it, it's a very Loyola Legend mill, but it kind of works in this scenario. I, re- I respect that. There is a little bit of walking distance, but. Yeah, it's two tiles, I think. I'm not sure that's two, two tiles. or three. Yeah, could be worse. Yeah, that's perfectly reasonable. Mm. And think about it, even like Franks could have been sent to do a decent pick on this just because you get two patches of berry bushes. Yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. I just think poles are just, like with the stuff we spoke about before, I just think that's an unreal pick for We've got for loads of options. Loads and loads yeah. of options. Yeah, it's, it's the stone to gold thing for me and the healing bills. I just think that's really strong. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay, so ships in the night. Just passing. 
just passed me. Cool. So Barrett's going on at pretty much identical times here. Mm -hmm. They're going to hit and they're going to hit feudal at pretty much identical times as well. Spotted out. Pretty much identical res. Mm -hmm. We're all pretty, pretty neck and neck at this point. I have not found the woodfields. I think mm. they've been searching for them, but not finding, and neither have they seen the barrel. I'm pretty sure Spurgey will have oh, an will idea. Will see we, we, uh, What? How? Yep. Oh, yeah. Where's you coming out oh. going to stone? Hell yes. <gasps> this We're is what we wanted to, to Oh, see. no, they're going to wood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now, just watch, watch the gold tick up now. Look at it. Like, that's Can't so strong. Stone. Oh, it's instant as well. It's like, yeah, exactly. It's like Khmer Farms, oh. but for stone. It's insane. It's holy such a good bonus. Yeah, for some reason in my head, I had it like when they deposit like it, it would put down five or half. No, 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 no. It's like Khmer Farms. It's Damn. ridiculous. Okay, so they're going for that. Are they going to go into, I don't think they can quite afford. And arms just yet needs a few more. Mm. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so double pit axe coming in, the usual, and some early mm -hmm. walls and archery range coming down. I Again. think it's going to be full skirm. Yeah, skirm is probably the way to go, right? Yeah. Yeah, strange skirm, skirm and spear, and they're now going to find out what oh, the hell's going on. With Byzantines, it makes sense. I guess that will make that's what makes Byzantines relatively good on this map. Mm -hmm. You can sort of play defensively, not have to worry too much. Yeah. I mean, Can we have a little awkward. look at the wood lines just to see how close we are to chopping through? Ooh, one so tree. just one tree to go there. 54, Lovely. and then, yeah, also one tree over here, 50. So they're doing well My at My goodness, these are, two, these are two equally equally matched players. <laughs> yep. But oh, militia are really annoying here with the skirms. Yeah, and income men of arms. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, that's a town. Well, and I think those men of arms are going to clear up everything which Budgie has Maybe. here. Looks like they could. I wouldn't mind seeing another men at arm just to make sure that that happens, but that tower is an interesting spot. Yeah, I think CG players thinking twice about it instead of going for a stable. Mm. Yeah. To counteract the, the skirm. I think that's I think that's a that's a I think that's a reasonable decision, right? You start with the military abilities, you've just lost most of your forward, the momentum mm -hmm. start. I think dropping a stable is fine here. Yep. And those farms are aiming me, so the full lot makes, gives you the opportunity for immaculate oh, farms. And there's a gap. There's a gap, yeah. There's a gap. It's shameful. Mm -hmm. Should that be an admin win? I think, I think there's a definite cause to be made for it. Oh, 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 ah, no. <laughs> okay, I'll move it away, I'll move it away. I'll concentrate on these it burns only two us. farms. It's yeah. yeah. Oh, my eyes. Right. My eyes. <laughs> I think I, I do think Scouts is a fair play at this point. Um, with the amount of skirms on the field. Mhm. Mm Even just a couple of them will do quite nicely. Yeah. I think he knows that. Mhm. Mm I mean, you just you've got cheap spears, I suppose. In response, mm. I mean, there's really not too Ooh. much. A couple of cheap spears. No horse colour for either player, though. Oh, true. Yeah, Not could ideal. Could be a pain for. And all those players are especially. going to go down, I think, here as well. Yep, they did. We this do have seem... some spears in production, oh, though. Who was it the other day? Uh, I can't remember. Who was, who was DJ Owens playing against? Darvoy. It was Darvoy that this Darvoy. reminds me a little yeah. bit. Just because the amount of switches that he did in Feudal. To mm. just counteract anything that was coming across. It meant he kept map mm. control. Maybe it was slightly later up, but mm. so dangerous. And it yeah, made it a pain. Already oh, to the outside of here. Uh, already throughout here too. So, lovely. Yeah, very, so very I good. think I, I like sending the scouts through straight away to get some intel on where we can get some extra resources. Mm -hmm. That is. Good. They could separate and them, them but <laughs> yeah, I'd send one one way, one the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get them doing the loop, they loop, and then they meet up. I'm probably gonna get a build pick here. Got one arch coming out. Maybe, maybe. And we do have access to gold now, so I can produce archers without it having too much of an impact on your Sure, yeah, that's gonna be. Oh, what oh, a look play! Oh, hero bill, hero bill. And he even kills it. What a queen! It. What a queen! Damn. 
One kill in there. <laughs> but yeah, so this food is all going to run out very shortly. And Spudgy has 73 wood. An entire 70. Where are these villas going to go? <laughs> They've done their job. We're going for what castle, now? though. Oh, yeah, that's um, true. But they just maybe loads. a little bit too early on stone. Yeah. But we are about to click up. Mm -hmm. CD has just clicked up. Yep. Just a two on stone for CD at the moment. So does could we go for a castle? Ah, and this house colour come in. Beautiful. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Yeah. Yes, yeah, but me too. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, I don't know if you saw my game, but you will shortly. You'll you'll see how. <laughs> oh yeah, it's coming up next with Tom and Yippet. Yeah. Once we finish yeah. this set. <laughs> oh boy. Oh the joy! I'm gonna get to watch that in first person. I'm gonna look forward to that. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> and they're even sending scouts all the way around the outside. Yeah, I like this. Mm -hmm. and so you can see exactly what's going on with your opponent and be annoying as well because you've got a big gaping hole at the back of your base as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah at some point you kind of want to transition out here and made some small walls here yeah. probably. I think it, I think you TC the outer ring when you, um, when you yeah. jump through. For sure. Yeah, they were yeah. very efficient yeah. in getting Little here. Yeah, oh, that's annoying. There's no spear out. No spear, no forging, though. Yeah. So they're going to get at least one. Could they get a second? If they attack the same one, maybe? Okay, there we go. It's going to be a second build down. Some serious value for those two scouts there. That's, yep. Yeah. Really, that's really, really annoying. No, I'm not going to get a third, oh. I think. Nope. Yeah, not quite. She just stays awake. Awake, alive. Both. Both. So yes, but he's got a problem here. I mean, oh, yeah, I do just uh, managed to get up there. He's going to buy now. Just needs the gold, which of course they got pushed off of a little bit there. Yeah, but so much, so so much done. Yeah, they do have the building. There's the market. Yeah. Too late. Really. I can feel the panic in this. Mm-hmm. I could, I could. Yeah. This. Things. Yeah, this is a rough spot now. If this had been up earlier, you could have sold a hundred stone and just there wasn't been the wood. up. Yeah. Yeah. But no, this is chaos pit, oh, right? Hello. Ooh, oh, that, oh my goodness me, that is that is an aggressive castle. Oh boy. That is oh boy. So that's the nine one stone, and also that's going to if but she doesn't click up saying that's going to take out the. The TC as well. Yeah. This happens to me quite a lot on Nomad, by the the, the token um, the token uh, Spanish player who will go FC right. Castle Draft on you. It's great. Yeah. It's great fun. Great fun. Oh, the, the tower is doing work. Ugh, I don't they, think oh, there's no the... fletching in. For the... They're in. <gasps> there's no fletching in for the tower, so I, I think the this micro is going to be the, the villagers. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. Wow, yeah. Well, that went downhill very quickly. <laughs> that did. And now, CD player clearly had a plan there for polls. I think that was, uh, yeah, I think that was a really well thought out save and strat but, and well executed. Yeah. I love the men of arms with the, the pole, mm. pole gold from stone. Yeah, it's beautiful. I do too. I do too. I'm learning from this game. I'm learning from this game. Mm, it is useful. <laughs> It's useful for sure. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, stats. CD, they're taking the win, taking it up to all square just after game two. Indeed. Well, I just update a thing or two. No worries. So that's a loss of Byzantines, a win for the Poles. So, mm. Huns and Vietnamese left for CD player, and mm -hmm. Lithuanians and Bulgarians left for Spudgy. Oh, so this is Cape of Storms? I believe Next. so, yep. I don't know what CD plays on those. On Cape of Storms. Yeah, he's got... Well, I do now, because I've seen it. But... <laughs> oh, great, I'm still sharing that screen, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Whoopsies! That's what happens it's when you try to do both at the same time. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is how I feel when I'm uh, streaming all the time. Like, it's yeah. so difficult to get it there. It's all good. It is all good. <laughs> so we know that it's Huns versus Lys. 
as they hit the final matchup on mm -hmm. Cave of Storms. Huns. I don't like this. I don't I mean, rate Huns. You got to think. think. There's too much of a water aspect to it. Maybe. I think this will be good. You could you could do the you can pretty much you can do the insta doc thing uh, like you do on Four Lakes I think with come on with, players help uh, me here. DJ did that I think right in this in insta doc yeah. Maybe. I don't I've always saw it straight game. away and then managed to work uh, around it. If I remember yeah. rightly. But yeah, no, it's interesting. I'm not sure. Because, I mean, Huns, again, it's a Cav Archer versus a Heavy Cav Civ, so I suppose, technically, mm. especially with how good Huns are at just getting Cav Archers out, do you really yeah. have enough time to get the relics and, and go up that way? Monks are going to get sniped. I for relics, I think it's going to be more aggressive than that. Um, mm. I, I'm just thinking of the early food eco with the dock coming mm. out because I think Huns are going to struggle to get a dock up early, and I think Lists can do that. Yeah. Uh, and I think sure. if you can still have advantage, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's guys, just pop in. You guys, guys just say, say, say what it should be. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to go in. We saw the start of cool. it and hey, momentarily we... wanted to go, but we were in properly now. <laughs> this, 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 it was just a dress rehearsal before. This is the actual the actual performance. I Lovely. Like that. So, in the blue, we have got CD player playing as the Huns over on the left hand side of the map here. Mm -hmm. uh, then in the pink slash purple, whatever you're feeling today, we have Spudgy playing as the Lithuanians. And we are I seeing the Instadoc there. Instadoc cool. Liths. Very nice. Instadoc Liths. I do like that. I do mm -hmm. like that. And there's quite a lot of fish on this map. So I think this can be made use of pretty nicely here. Also got three. This is the thing with this map. I think there's too many resources. Not <laughs> that that's a problem, but for my brain, there's too. Everything happens too quick. Like you bring in right. food too quick. You bring in I, yeah, yeah, I gold can too quick. I it's can't. Like... And then there's and then there's just so much going on with the land, with it being so open on land mm -hmm. as well. And and see, it's a great map. Like it's mm. in terms of what kind of gameplay it brings, like it's you've got so many options really. True. From the start, I mean, you have the three rhinos and elephants. You have mm. a lovely patch of hunts as well. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. So you can go. For so it's almost like being able to utilize that and convert it into map control. Yep. Indeed. Could see either, but of course, Spudgy, Instadoc, as we mentioned before. Yeah. Starts with 150 extra food, so they don't have to mm -hmm. worry too much about their initial villages. Heavily going onto wood straight away. Yeah, we need it for uh, lumber camp now at this point. Lumber because you spent the wood on the dock, dock, you have to go to stragglers first. Makes sense. So it's good getting it's good getting the dock up, but I think getting the fishing ships out after that is quite difficult because mm -hmm. of the lack of wood. I believe. Oh, nearly got it. So close. And also I like the fact that uh Oh, are we seeing a lame? A bit of a lame. Good. And a little also, bit of a lamey lame. Also checking the wood lines at the start of the game. Nice. Seeing where the so no, knows where the deer patch is here. This is really good for Spudgy. Like mm -hmm. oh, and seeing the bills go out here, is there loom on that? Uh, no, I wouldn't take that. I don't think so, no. No, no loom. But also losing quite a bit of HP on the scout there. Yeah. Okay, so I did lose two sheep, but there is three um, elephants and rhinos mm -hmm. on this map. So I don't think it's going to have too big a impact there. But it's always it's a nice little mental advantage, I think, when you when you manage to find your opponent's sheep. For sure. It, you know, it's, it's just a little bit of a... And it's also that free scouting as well when you're sending them back around the back to your base. Cool. Is that working? No. Oh. It has been built, but it has it's not been... been it's there. There we go. There we go. There, there we go. It. Good. <laughs> It needs a bit more. So I need fish barters. Well. Yeah, I'd love auto fish to be a thing, maybe. I'd love auto fish to be a thing. So much easier. I'd also love fish and ships to be able to drop off food at uh, TCs, but that's another argument altogether, and that is a hill which I will die on. Yeah, what a nomad. It makes uh... sense. You can, and any other unit can drop off resources there, but fish yeah. and ships can't, which yeah, I find that, weird. That's it's slightly odd. In fact, any sort of swampy. Some for water, maybe no matter kind of map, I suppose mm -hmm. would make sense. Mm -hmm. 
mean, it pains Paradox to hear that every time I every time I bring that up. Oh, does he not like it? No, he doesn't like the idea that oh, he does, he thinks it doesn't make sense when it makes perfect sense. You still have to make it dark, like to to make the thing. So I mean, it's not as if you're yeah. saving any wood. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Interestingly, is that, uh, a, is that is that is that just a gap? That is just a gap. Okay. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Nice. We're we'll fixing now. Good stuff. But early walls, very early walls coming out here from yeah. Spudgy. I mean, I suppose that's kind of good. That maybe that maybe hints that we're gonna go for some water pressure if we're being protected on land. Perhaps, maybe. or just FC trying to get or into just... the, the lift power position with the relics is also mm. slightly easier if you're walled up. Oh, I Ooh. think looms out. But I think this so... feels. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah, fine. there's too too many too many uh, hits on that scout now. Yep, yep. That's good. Just gonna be happy mm. with We've that. Got full fishing ships out, which is nice. Chilling. Chilling. <laughs> that's a loud dolphin. Oh my goodness, that's some build from CD. CD's up to feed up. Twenty-one bills. Yeah, I suppose nice. taking all three hunts. Yeah, and I think CD there. is so far land pressure now. We're going to have to see some... Uh, we've got some decent... We've got family fishing ships we have out of CD, sorry, three. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, okay, so it's going to maintain food income there, but it's going to run out of food on land quite soon. Yeah. Well, I mean, all you need to do is mill these, right? <laughs> and then you've got... Yeah, food exactly. for days. Food for yeah. days. Oh, and then we've got the third ball coming in there. Budgie, did you forget that there was a third thing? Have they seen it? They have seen it. Yeah. Hmm. And wow, okay, there's a big wall. Yeah. You have to be careful in amongst here too. And they don't really want to wall yeah, that right. So really. annoying to wall those up. It's like winged was it in one of the empire wars tournaments where like all the trees are massive and so sparse like mm -hmm. in twos but you can't see where your mm -hmm. where your gaps are mm -hmm. the yeah that is it's like that. it's the same same vibes as a dry river um uh, the it, i always find dry river really hard to uh, so double dot there from cd yeah, so we're getting fire, fire galleys out first mm-hmm Similar idea from the look of it. From I prefer. Do um, does the attack bonus work from fire galleys when they attack downhill? I'd imagine it does. I would imagine so. Yeah, I don't see one. I'd imagine it does. We need a scientist in chat. Well. <laughs> yes, Yipip says, says yes. yes. Cool. Thank you, Yupip. Cool. Okay. Well, I think I like that then a mm. little bit. Otherwise, I would have preferred galleys. Oh, I see. Right, right. If one did and one didn't, yeah, that makes sense. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> He's just oh, crap, poor guy. Oh, and imagine his arms at this point. See, when it, whenever, Carrying whenever that, that happens, that is a lot. Whenever that happens to me, I just rage delete them. I don't bother deleting the. Uh, oh really? Delete them. Yeah, I just delete them. <laughs> because it, whenever I'm cycling through my idle bill hotkeys, it always catches on that one. So. Your stupidity <laughs> is not worth your existence, <laughs> sir. Exactly. Get yeah. rid. Wow. You're that a problem. Brutal. Away. <laughs> Delete all your problems. Yeah. Literally. I can, I can respect that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Milling deer now. I mean, to be fair, does he really need it? No, oh, third dock. Three okay. Docks. And he's there is a lot of fish. There is a lot of fish, and Switchy's only just hit Castle. And Galleys is a choice from the list. Interesting. That's that's brave, going Galleys. Yep. Oh, yeah, we do like three dot Galleys. Three dot nice micro in down. There is only one fire on at the moment, and you can see when they get the downhill mm -hmm. hits in as mm -hmm. well, like there's... <laughs> No, honestly, yeah. when you get when you get a critical mass of galleys, it doesn't really matter like how many fires you have. Out. You just micro back, and it's Doing you okay. just kill all. Yeah, yeah, see, three out so far, and they are building two. Of yeah, them. so when you get to six, like fires just become a little bit useless. Oh, but the scouts on land as well. Oh, okay, this is rough. Yeah, the scouts on land. That's gonna be painful. Yeah, I think this is... is the thing with this mm -hmm. map, right? Like, because there's there's one simultaneous land and water pressure. 
and there we can see like the micro it's just not happening oh. in the same way just because it's focused at home now Ooh, I'm trying to kill all the scouts. kill so far. I mean, it's just been disruptive mainly. And yeah. at the same time, there's not enough mass out here. No, no. Trying at this to protect point. The, the fish, but honestly, as soon as that started, and there was more than one of these coming in, just send the fish to a corner and mm. just garrison them inside. Wait until you have a bunch. Yeah. It's not worth trying to fight them. Because mm. now everything's going to die. And yet more fire stream across the map. And that's I don't think you played this horribly, Spudgy. I think I think you're right. You've got an autopilot for some of it, um, mm -hmm. and yeah. it's a difficult map to play as well. Hence why I ban it. Yeah, it's not an easy one. But yeah, I think I would say CD's one water at this point. It's going to take quite some time to get back on water with that map. Well, we've got a tower. Okay. Okay. I respect the no walls play from CD as well. Like that's, I find that terrifying with Huns as well. There's no even house walls. It's just full YOLO. Yeah, that's just full, full YOLO time. sending all of the just scouts over and over. Yeah. yeah. Goodness. And that's going to be a tower. Yeah. Oh boy. Is this going to get seen? Oh, oh, it almost didn't get There'll seen. There'll be something being seen, I think, but you'll know something's up at this point. Oh, an Insta! Yeah, we do. Insta know? Tower, let's go! Nice, nice, nice. And that something's gone wrong, they can't get the villager out of that gap. <laughs> oh, no. This map, Failure man. to launch. This map. Yeah, and good response to get the spears out. Three yeah. spears will deal with most Drop things. It. That's fine. We're dropping dropping a tower a little bit further back, which is still annoying, mm -hmm. but doesn't deny too much wood. And just doing a little bit of bell fox in there for the spears, but the spears still getting some good hits off on the scouts. Yeah. Uh, the there's problem's... just so much going on. There's so much going on. Spudgy's doing a reasonable job here. The problem is, like, mm. just look at the build queue up here. It's five more yeah. things. Are we, are we going up to the castle, by the way? Are we? Because uh, we, we oh, there, there we are. Yeah. I, I, I honestly, like that, in my head, that I do that so much where you're focusing so hard in mm. feudal age on military micro mm -hmm. and you just don't know, you just don't spot your res creeping up. That's a little too related. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to go into some food land eco here. And we're just getting horse collar and some more um, stable upgrades. Yep, makes sense. Lithuanians mm. don't get camels. Uh, mm. Do get wing to Sarlo, I guess, an imp, but I'm, mm. I have a feeling that potentially this might not go to imp, depending on what happens in Castle Age. Assuming that CD mm. player goes up to Castle Age now. Yeah, pretty soon. There we go. Yeah. Now? Because now? Cav Archers now. on this map is going to be an absolute pain for this player to deal with. Yeah. So we'll see. Something has to be done pretty much now. I it, it, I, I think so. You need to go all in here. Like, if you just look at the um, the eco lead from oh, CD, yeah, true. it's That's huge. So you needs to do something to turn the tide. And um, CD's got all the fish as well, so I got that really nice, yeah. comfortable food eco. Whereas Swedgy just struggling a little bit with the uh, space doing weather. Um, mm -hmm. Needs to get those farms out and needs to get that food eco rolling. Still got some. Still got some. Um, Sheepies, piggies. Though. Those are the two that, that they stole. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Potentially. Yeah, Castle Age in. So, Castle Age in, and we've got Knights immediately in production. And CD's completely open at home. Like, I don't think it's out of the realms of possibility here. No. You know? No. I mean, the Wood Eco is next to a like, tower, which certainly helps. Uh, this, not so it's much. A it's like <laughs> the but it should, it should only tickle the knights at this at this point. Mm -hmm. and we've got the first armor upgrading for them, so they should be okay for a little bit. First but armor, yeah, no, the, the 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 eco difference for CD at this point is is ridiculous. Yep. Uh, like that food eco is going to be juicy, and it's still uh, not sort it was sort of inefficient, not terribly inefficient. No, I mean the work efficiency is. Fair equal for both right mm. now. But there we go, Castle Age coming in, and it's Knights being the choice here. Yeah, I think Knights is the right choice. I think if you hit Castle Age second, I don't think you want to go to the A. 
Um, I think it's too risky to try and mass them when you're playing completely open. Mm. And maybe, or, maybe, or maybe in this hunt. start with, yes, or maybe start out with a few knights and then transition into CA. Yeah. But I yeah. think you can't, you can't just go straight CA. I think you just give up too much map control if your opponent's got knights mm -hmm. on the map. In my, in my low low opinion. <laughs> You're the night player among us. <laughs> I know this is. I play horses, so that's uh, yeah, yeah that's that's how I do. I'm an archer. But sculpt. yeah, no. I uh, yeah, ugh, yeah. gross. Yeah, I know. It's what it is. Yeah, I've accepted my production. Right really now. struggling now for Swudgy. There's no night. Oh, there was just just some knights in the queue now. Mm -hmm. But seven knights in the queue. The FCD. And that eco is scary. Twenty six on food. Holy. Yeah. I know a lot of that is fishing ship eco, but. That's really gonna translate well into uh, getting them knights on the field. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh good, good clutch conversion, conversion there. Mm -hmm. Love it. They're gonna get at least one extra attack. The look of it. I think. I think. Be careful with the with the with the monk here. He's gonna have to like jump away super quick because it's in range of the tower. Yeah. No, you can hey. Just about. Maybe another free knight. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Hey, there we go. Yes. But he's doing all right. I mean, yeah. it's going to be very difficult to get any of the other relics. That's kind of the problem yeah. here. You got one over the other side of your wall. Mm. <laughs> the villager has disappeared now. Yes, and, good. Yeah, good. Monastery out from CD player. Yeah, very I think CD sensible. is going to get the other, the other relics. That's what I don't when I'm when playing against lists. Even if I don't want to play for relics, I feel like I have to just so mm. they can't get them. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right there, and now they're gonna suffocate them out. Yeah. So what? What's the attack on each? So I think they. I think they Yeah. They're... Just because the upgrades. Was that a conversion then? I don't think so. It's the only monk around here. No, right? it wasn't because they still got yeah. yeah. This is gonna be a fight here. Yeah. Ten yeah, versus five. Yeah. yeah no, you've got to run. Snowball pretty badly. Yeah. One to go back and take out the monk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is snipe, managed, snipe, yeah. And the rest just going for We're going on a wild goose attack. chase. Wild night chase. Wild night chase. Are they going to get some picks, to be in fair? now for CD, so CD can chase down. Oh, there we go. They're finally taking something. Huh. Got a bill come? Yeah. But yeah, but yeah 29 military to 8 at this point is this is going to be problematic. I have been, this is going to be GG. Oh, oh, look at the monks, sir. Lots of monks. That's one conversion, two conversion. I think they got two or three there. Yeah, two or three, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. But they are going to be still swept up. Yeah, the other monks are going to go down. I mean, it's kind of a, a single trick just because of how long it takes to create a monk. He's just going to flood yeah. in now. Yeah. One more and fight and it could be it. Yeah. There we go. Relative health and all that. Mm -hmm. More coming in from the back. You got two more knights up here for CD. Yeah, dude, this map's so out. quick. It's just everything happens so fast in it and the GG is called. There we go. Oh, GG. So coming back from 1-0 down, CD player takes a sweep. Or well, takes a reverse it's sweep, I should say. Reverse sweep, yeah. But I think, honestly, I think Spudgy played really well. Um, obviously going in as the underdog there. Mm. <laughs> nice first game. I mean, I think I think that game was, wasn't played as best as they can play. But I've seen in chat, they seem to have realised that. Um, but yeah, no, a re really nice set here. I, I love it when it goes to 2-1 to and we get a little bit of tension drama. It's good, it's good. Indeed, I'll just have a quick look at the stats here. Hmm. Uh, 42 to 28, that's pretty reflective. Oh, I like hmm. to see is it, it, it's just, it was just food. the water, oh. it was the food eating water. Honestly, that, that was yeah. the difference. It was just, yeah, that was the... That, Major that was the lead. Mm. Yep. There we go. That's what happens when lifts can't get off the ground, sadly. Yeah. But, uh, always an interesting map to watch, for sure. Indeed. 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 It is fun. Would, would I enjoy it? I wouldn't want to play it. Oh, I got something <laughs> in my eye. <laughs> yeah. Okay.
good stuff. Uh, so that was yes. CD Player versus Spudgy with myself, Grandy, and Mangamel off to my right here. Um,